indicate the total work in kilojoules is equal to the force in newtons times the number of revolutions times six meter per revolution. So each revolution is six meters long divided by a thousand. And the dividing by a thousand is to get from joules to kilojoules. <clears throat> the force is equal to the load that is put on the bike. Uh, the peak anaerobic power with Wingate is equal to the force in newtons. Again, that would be the load times the peak number of revolutions times the distance of the revolution, six meters per revolution, divided by five seconds. For relative peak anaerobic power, again, we're going to divide by body mass. Lastly, the fatigue index is equal to the highest power minus the lowest power divided by the highest power times 100. So when we go through this with our sample person, the total work is going to be equal to the force or the load. And so the load on his bike was 4.5 kilograms. So if we put that in newtons, we're going to take 4.5 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. That'll get it into newtons. We're then going to multiply by the total number of revolutions. So for this individual, it was 42 times 6 meters per revolution. This is going to be constant for this sample because it was all, each revolution was always 6 meters. And then divided by 1,000 and we end up getting 11,125 newton meters divided by the 1,000, which ends up being 11.13 kilojoules. If we didn't divide by the 1,000, um, we would have had that in joules. So newton meters are joules. Okay, um, peak anaerobic power, we're going to take the force in newtons, which again was the, is 4.5 times 9.81, which is equal to 44.15, times the peak number of revolutions. This individual's revolutions range from 5 to 10. So at his, his worst five second period, he had five revolutions. His best, he had 10. So we're doing it times the peak one. So that would be 10 revolutions times six meters per revolution divided by five seconds. So that was the length of time, which was five seconds. And this equals 529.8 watts. To get it in relative, you would divide 529.8 by 70 kilograms. You would do this exact same thing to get the lowest power, which you need to get the fatigue index. So for the lowest, instead of doing 10 revolutions, the lowest that he had was five. And so you do this exact same thing, um, substituting five revolutions, and his lowest power ends up being 264.9. So to calculate the fatigue index, fatigue index, we're going to take the highest power minus the lowest power, divided by the highest times 100. So 5. 29.8 minus 264.9 divided by the highest, so 529.8, and then times 100. This is so that it's in 
uh, percentage form and it ends up being 50%.